NASCAR Cup team owner Chip Ganassi has been suspended and fined $30,000 for breaking COVID protocols. Chip Ganassi has been suspended, not his team, not his car. So Kurt Busch and Ross Chastain, they will still be running the race at Homestead this upcoming weekend, but Chip Ganassi will not be allowed at the track on Sunday or I guess the whole weekend. But yes, this is a recent development NASCAR. They usually announce their penalties uh, Monday after the race. Usually we don't see any big penalties. Usually it's like the other two penalties that we saw. It's a lug nut, a loose lug nut, which is a $10,000 fine for the crew chief, but no points deductions, uh, no wins taken away or anything like that. And then we've had some severe cases where like four or five years ago, Kevin Harvick got his win or his points taken away from his win. Uh, because of a rear spoiler issue, but as I said, usually very rarely do we see any major penalties uh, in terms of suspension or major fines, but this this is a new one. Chip Ganassi, owner of Chip Ganassi Racing, as I said, fined $30,000 and suspended a race, and what NASCAR said, it, he violated section 12.8.1.B of the NASCAR rulebook a subsection of the member conduct guidelines that includes compliance with COVID-19 event procedures. Officials said that Ganassi's penalty was for bringing into the competition area a non-essential individual that was restricted from the footprint. So basically, he brought someone he wasn't supposed to. That That's the simple terminology. Uh, of course, ever since last year after the Phoenix race when COVID hit and we went back in May, it was very restricted, only drivers and teams and media. And then it slowly expanded. And last uh, fall at Phoenix for the championship race was the first time we saw owners back at the track. Of course, we saw Rick, uh, Rick Hendrick at the racetrack celebrating the championship with Chase Elliott. And then all the team owners have been allowed back at the track this year for the first two races. And they continue, they will continue to go to the track. But once again, it's very limited and you have to follow procedures. These team owners, they don't get to do their normal routine. They don't get to go wherever they want and all that stuff. There are certain restrictions. They can't bring a bunch of people with them. You know, usually you'll bring sponsors, uh, you know, some people with a company that sponsors your car, like you might for Hendrick or for Ganassi. Let's do Ganassi. He might bring a representative from McDonald's, a representative from Monster Energy, Advent Health, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, you usually get to bring some extra people to the track, but now with COVID and all these restrictions, you can't bring as many people as you used to. I think you're still allowed to bring some representatives, some sponsors, uh, but I, I, it's definitely not the same as it used to be. And as I said, I, I think there's restrictions on the infield and stuff in terms of where you can go. But yeah, Chip Ganassi, this is the first really, I would say, punishment we've seen for COVID protocols. We saw some teams, they had to switch pit crews or a couple pit guys last year because they were exposed to COVID, so they couldn't go to the next race. They had to quarantine and, you know, they just replaced them. There was no fines. There were no suspensions and nothing like that because sometimes you can't control the the germs in the air, sometimes like that. But with this, obviously, Chip Ganassi blatantly broke some kind of rule, uh, brought someone he wasn't supposed to bring into a restricted area, and now he's been fined and suspended. Now $30,000, I don't think that's going to destroy Chip Ganassi's uh, bank. I think, I think he's got a good amount of money. He owns a NASCAR team, he owns an IndyCar team, and I think he owns an IMSA team. So I think he's doing well financially. As for the $30,000, I believe that the $30,000 goes to the NASCAR Foundation. I'm going to check on that real quick. Yes, the fines go to the NASCAR Foundation. They are not tax deductible. So there you go. There's the whole fine situation. But yeah, as I said, with the whole COVID protocols and stuff, NASCAR has been, uh, they've said that they're going to be more straight just because, you know, if they get a bunch of cases within the sport, they're going to have to shut down and they don't want to have to shut down. So Everyone's got to follow the rules in terms of, you know, the normal things that you hear every day, the face masks, the uh, the social distancing, and then, of course, now limited people 
at the track, you can't bring extra people. And if they say you can't go into a certain area, you can't go into a certain area. So just a quick little news story there. Nothing really, really big in terms of racing, in terms of uh, drivers or, you know, cars or anyone getting suspended. It's just Chip Ganassi, the team owner, will not be allowed at the track this upcoming weekend. And it does show that NASCAR, they mean business when it comes to these COVID uh, protocols. As I said, we didn't see everyone for the most part last year did a really good job. We did have a couple positives in terms of drivers. Jimmy Johnson missed the Brickyard 400. Austin Dillon missed the Daytona Road Course. But other than that, overall, I'd say the teams did really well. We had a couple pit guys throughout the year get it, but we never had a, a major outbreak. We never had to stop after we came back in May. So everyone really did a really good job last year, but it does show after what Chip Ganassi did this past weekend uh, that NASCAR does mean business and they are not messing around. If you break these protocols, you will get fined, you will get suspended, you will be in big trouble. So uh, I think that is definitely sending a message to everyone else in the garage, whether you're a team owner, whether you're a pit crew member, whether you're an engineer, crew chief, driver, I think this is NASCAR sending a message saying, hey, if you break our rules and it it possibly impacts the safety or health of someone else in the garage, we are not afraid to come down on you and slap you with a fine or suspend you for a race or anything like that. So uh, yeah, NASCAR means business in terms of their protocols. But other than that, not much else today. Yeah, I mean, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this. I hope, I hope you feel informed about the whole Chip Ganassi getting suspended. As I said early in the video, Kurt Busch and Ross Chastain will still be driving his cars this weekend. Everything should be the same for them. Same crew chiefs, same crews, same drivers, same cars, same numbers, same sponsors. It's just Chip Ganassi won't be at the track. But other than that, uh, everything should be normal for the race on Sunday. I hope, I really hope. Hopefully no rain, hopefully uh, no COVID exposures, but uh, yeah, have a great day.